Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 15 July, it's Wednesday. BOC today, BOJ today. Um, neither were expecting much. We'll talk about the BOC when we pull up the dollar CAD chart. But uh, I have to say, pretty hectic 24-hour period there um, trading we were short Aussie got stopped um, short Kiwi Yen still in that uh, Kiwi Yen hasn't done too much we sold some equities at the close last night stopped um, this drug from Moderna which is going into phase two or phase three uh, I guess is lifting the spirits of the market but it's hard for me to jump on this huge bullish case um, when it just looks so superficial uh, the growth looks so superficial but we're not going to fight the tape. Uh, we're square again. It'll be really, really interesting to see if we can make a new high over this uh, 2334. This is massively important now. Um, sorry, 3234. Um, through that, we look like we we're going to perhaps make take a shot at uh, all-time highs. So they will be watching this 3234 closely to high today. It's been 16 and a quarter. Along the same lines, we're looking at this crude. Um, let's go four hourly because the daily chart doesn't even work anymore. But we just got the stops from, we talked about it earlier, that anyone who sold on Monday left the stop above 76. They got those at 88. Now we have a series of highs up here, 41.10. 4163 um, which is the June 23 high oil could also break out as well which is insane uh, but it could and we're not going to fight this in fact uh, we'll probably get long if we make a new high in oil I don't think anybody has this um, and like euro yen yesterday sometimes the most illogical trades are the ones that pay euro yen we, we got long in the 90s traded up to 22 and we just sort of scooped out of it just because we couldn't really believe it was it was up there um, but if you look at it closely right it, the low the back low was 98 never never even touched 95 we're at 20 now which is pretty meaningless but just goes to show you that uh, sometimes the, the illogical ones are the ones that uh, the ones that pay. Aussie, on the other hand, which was a logical short in our mind, had a miracle hold at 22. Got given 20 times, um, held like uh, I don't know, like Braveheart, hold, um, hold the line. It's a very interesting point now, 69.22, next time down through that um, should be a bit of a waterfall. Um, but as the song says, don't go chasing waterfalls, don't go chasing waterfalls, um, here we are, 70.18 the high, couldn't really sustain prices above um, 70 cents no dog in this fight anymore uh, we've been stopped so we're just watching uh, let's go to CAD um, CAD is interesting just because of the BOC today we don't expect a rate change um, we do not expect change in Asset purchases. Uh, it will be interesting to see what this guy 
I guess his name is Macklem. The Mac Daddy Macklem. We'll see what he's got for us. This is his first BOC meeting. And there will be some communication delivery analysis. Like how is he going to deliver a message? Uh, what is it going to mean? Dark Cat is in the middle of nowhere. Prices above 136.50 are, are marginally interesting. If maybe they add asset purchases, which I doubt they will. Um, but just from a chart perspective, 136.50 uh, seems to be interesting. Um, so let's keep an eye on that. BOJ, I won't even bother. I mean, dollar yen, what the fuck? All of this volatility. And dollar yen is just 107.26. It feels like it's been 107.26 for for two weeks. Oh look, it's been 107.26 since June. Um, crazy town, right? We don't touch dollar yen until um, we're able to sell 105.95s. Then we'll then we'll touch it up. Um, no reason to do an off-color joke there about touching dollar yen. Um, what else is out there? Not too much. Dollar czar is kind of resisting this risk on. A couple of lows here. Nothing really to do there. Um, we do have, as far as uh, the calendar is concerned, we do have some CPIs out today. Let's take a look at the calendar real quick. Yeah, we got UK CPI. Pretty meaningless, actually. Kiwi CPI tonight. Um, Empire in the U.S. Import prices and industrial production. And crude inventories. Crude inventories. Could be interesting for that crude chart. Not much in data, really. No one really cares about CPI. This is an interesting print in uh, Euro. 114.23, the high. Same high as on the, uh, I believe, the 9th, the 10th of June. So a month ago, we printed this high, traded all the way back down to 111.60. Printed the exact same high today. Is it going to be a double top? I don't know. Is the market long Euro? Yes, it is. Um, obviously, we have the big risk events in Euro back end of this week, ECB tomorrow, and the uh, stability fund uh, nonsense this weekend. Interesting chart point, 114.23. Euro Aussie, total ball kick. I mean, <laughs> we were looking pretty good up there at 164, and to be fair, we traded around it, and we we made a little bit of money and we squared up last night uh, but here we are 162.94 like Sodom and Gomorrah on a Wednesday morning ridiculous I will show the Eurocad jar just because we're just at the tippy top of the range um, 155 38 the high yesterday 155.38 this also is 155.33 um, BOC today if we bust through 136.50 obviously 155 uh, we'll call it 35 we're going to ring the bell up there um, but we'll see and we're not expecting much in dollar CAD uh, finally, take a quick look at Bitcoin, which is doing nothing. This looks like she wants to stop some people out on the downside again. And finally, gold. Um, we did plop through 97 yesterday, and we went down to 90, but she's holding steady here. Uh, gold futures market. This is the front front month. 
1810. Cash gold uh, is 1806. This is the futures. Not a whole lot to say today. We'll be watching these oil levels. We'll be watching, obviously, that euro dollar level. Um, but it looks like it's going to be a very, very light trading day, or certainly light in the European morning. We will be watching BOC to see how that evolves. Uh, licking our wounds a bit after yesterday. Sure, the NASDAQ quickly. I mean, that was craziness. NQ futures, bang. We were looking pretty, pretty uh, slippery there at 10, 359. Uh, but now we are 350 points higher. Um, so it looks a little bit less slippery. This bar is still the key. Are we going to make uh, 11,070 highs? I definitely don't think so. But like we said earlier in the week, what are you going to do here? You, you gonna leave a 500 point stop? If you are, you better be looking to make 5,000 points uh, on the downside. So you got to be more tactical and more strategic and find a better place to sell if you're gonna sell. For now, we're just watching. Yesterday, we were just watching with utter amazement and also feeling relatively old. Um, that kind of price action. used to give me a boner 10 years ago now it gives me a headache funny funny how life is anyway i've said enough good luck out there today people watching these crude levels watching these euro dollar levels the book is pretty square we got this tiny little kiwi yen on um but uh more watching than doing certainly for the european morning good luck ciao